M0FXB, welcome to my videos learning the Zygu X6200. Today we're going to show you the built-in WFU server. So I'm already connected, let me just show you where you find this. Go to system on the radio by pressing this button here. So first of all you make sure you press general first, then go to system and now you can turn the outer knob here, just turn it until you see WFU server and press it, press this button here, the smaller button. And you're going to see your server which is already set up, it has a username, a password and ports. You don't have to change any of that, okay? So you can exit that. Now the one thing you do need to do is connect to Wi-Fi uh, in this configuration because we're using Wi-Fi. So navigate to your wireless LAN and select enter or press the this button here to enter that and you'll see that I'm already connected now it's straightforward to connect to Wi-Fi you just turn it on you've got an on button here then scan and then to type in your password I have tried an external keyboard but it keeps zeroing off what I'm doing so if you exit here let me look now there the words VKB comes here VKB and that allows you to bring up the built-in keyboard. Now, I'm connected, so it's not allowing that at the moment because I am connected, but I don't want to disconnect because I want to show you this working. Uh, but it says VKB and just type, you just turn the knob and select the on-screen keyboard uh, device in items. You'll find that the small letters, the large letters are all on one screen and then you can select A, B, C to get to numbers and that's the bottom left. I'll attach a video. Right, so once you've done that, you can exit, exit completely, stay on screen there, you've got Wi-Fi. You can, if you want to look up your IP address, what I did is did my own search within my broadband router, but you can use something like Advanced IP Scanner and that will show up. If you look here, it says Zygu X6200, that's by default, I haven't changed anything. Your IP address number will be different. So now over to the settings of WFU, go to their website first and download that. I'll put the link in the description, it's just here. Click download at the top, there's a tab there that says download and then choose the one for your computer, mine is Windows 64 and just download and run it. Now when it comes to settings, go up here at settings, okay? And all I did was select network that you can see here, because you could use a, a USB cable. Use CIV address. I put in the IP address that I found. You can use advanced IP scanner. You can use angry IP. I didn't change any ports. The username is as default. So it's user and one, two, three. I have not changed the sample rate or anything else. And that was it. Once I just filled out those few items, I went back to view and I did close the program then reopen and it just connected. So if we'll just show you now some controls and it does control quite a lot of functions. If you notice that my waterfall here, I know it's, it, you know, the, it's overloaded at the moment. That's because I've got too many LED lights on in this room, but my waterfall color is actually separate from the, from the program, from the WFU program. So watch this, if I change it to the hot color like we've got now on my display and then go back to say the blue it doesn't change on the radio yeah maybe it might do after a reboot but it doesn't but if we go to band at the top here it says band click band and we can go to say and all the bands are showing look even air band it's all showing we're on air band now and we can even though air band is not 50 megahertz. Do that again, band. And no, it's definitely not 50 megahertz. But anyway, it's still early days. Let's do the, let's do the part where you actually type in the frequency. We go to frequency and we're gonna go one, three, three. I keep making mistakes here, don't I? Uh, so let's do that again. Eight five 
zero and then hit the enter button that's better and it's we want am so we'll select am and you heard that change we're now listening to airband of course you need the appropriate antenna you can just scroll here just click on the the wheel and start scrolling that works fine Play around with all these different RF gain, AF gain, TX, mic gain, reflectors. So let's go to back to band, go 40 meters, LSB, look at that, you've got data selection there. RIT, frequency lock, power on and off, I'm not going to do that now. Different scroll options, but you get the idea. See what it does if we click the actual thing. So you see in the settings, you type the frequency, you select the band, transmit here. So let's just go M0FXB test, test, test. And we can do the tuner. It's now tuning. I'm actually changing the frequency on the radio now to see if it it changes on the software and it does. It's a bit of a lag there. So I think just test it out. That's what I think. Just seeing if I can now. Uh, Yeah, if you get your mouse on, look, hold your finger down, and then that's quicker. Well, like I said, there's too many LED, li LED lights in there. Thanks for watching. That's your WFU setup, which does work on the Zygo X6200. 73.